What is good guys man, thank you for tuning back into the channel man If you're new, make sure you hit that sub button down below to be notified for every single video that I drop man If y'all know the um, boxer Ryan Garcia man Lately he's been in a lot of controversies He's been called crazy, chaotic, whatever the case may be Because he's exposing, you know what I'm saying uh, The powers that be that rule this world right now The devil, Satan, himself and whatever the case may be And he is standing for a good cause Um Man, in the Bible, man, uh, shoot, Luke 12, 2, 3. Luke chapter 12, 2-3. That the secrets will be uncovered. The truth will come forth. And God's thought about every behavior and action will be vindicated. You're going to see a lot of people coming out in the end times, exposing the truth, exposing the darkness. And little do you know, man, a lot of the truth has been put in front of our face. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us are blind by the truth man and then a lot of us want this fame and this fortune and we don't know what it comes with and a lot of these celebrities before they get famous they just normal people and then they get into this industry this business whatever the case may be and they have to do things that they don't want to do you know what i'm saying you don't know what you're getting yourself into and that leads me to a bible verse uh matthew 16 uh verse 26 for what is a for what is a man Profit it if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul man? So when, when you really Trying to get famous and rich man, you know what I'm saying? It comes with a lot of sacrifices and stuff like that You know, so without further ado, man, we're about to go ahead and get into this video He's gonna be exposing a lot a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes of this fame and his fortune You can believe it or you don't want to believe it man open your eyes up to this real world First, I want to say that I'm perfectly fine. I came here to talk, not as I'm frantic or chaotic or whatever, you know, people may assume that I am mentally ill. What, what did they say? I'm going through a manic episode or um, what, whatever they came about to, to try to, to try to make what I was saying, which was the truth, seem like it was a lie. They're trying to create confusion within the people to make it seem that anything I said was a lie. Everything I said was the truth. And with that being said, I am going to now enter this live with prayer. Father in heaven, I just want you to guide me, Lord. Guide me with your Holy Spirit, Lord, the spirit of truth, that I say nothing but the truth. So help me, God, Lord. Please, Lord, let me not say one lie, Lord. All I ask is that you you don't you don't let me say one lie, Lord. That you let me defend the children that are hurting across the whole world, Lord, and that the experience I experience, the experiences that so many kids experience around the world, Lord, that you shine light on it, and that you give me strength, you give me power only through you, Lord. Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. Okay. So with that being said. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name but you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but, but there will be a time. My why it, last fight was for my son, Henry. I wanted to fight for him, and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. I'm going to give you guys some facts, since some people want some facts. Three fast facts, and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts. They want papers, right? Everybody wants the proof? Okay. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay. The first fact, with human trafficking, including sex trafficking, the global industry 
of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy. That's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth. But if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two, globally, the International Labor Organization estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. Around the whole world. The US, in particular, where we live, where I live, the U.S. is the number one nation in the world for consuming child sex material. Now, those are the three facts. And, and I already know about this. I'm going to go a little deep. No, don't worry. I'm not going to go into too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people. You got to understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop stop trying to join the live, please? I'm trying to speak facts right now. But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. I heard that he said that a lot of people told him not to do this. It gets bad for him. Bad for him. A lot of people that try to expose the truth about the industry. If you if you're in the industry, if you're famous, you're rich, whatever the case may be, which I know nothing of, but what I have seen, and I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff goes behind the scenes, man. They have to do a lot of stuff, man, behind the scenes, man. A lot of stuff we don't even know about, but a lot of people has tried to come out and warn us, man. The fame and fortune is not everything. The money is not everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, why live a lifestyle where you have to lose your soul and do things um, that you don't want to do for money, bro? You're going to be depressed forever. You're all, forever going to have an empty hole inside of your, your spirit. You know what I'm saying? And as you, you see them say, they, they will come after him. And a lot of people have been came after him when they try to expose the truth. They try to make you look crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us, man, we don't, we don't think this stuff is real. We don't think this stuff is real. We living in the end times right now. A lot of stuff about to be exposed, man. So I salute this guy, man, for going against the powers that be. Because God is more, much more powerful, much more greater than what this world is trying to do. You know what I'm saying? And trying to blind us, you know, from, for what's to come. Trying to distract us from God. You know what I'm saying? So I can't do nothing, man, but com commend him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to touch this really quick, really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face and you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation you want to start, too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also, release the truth. Nonprofit. I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now. In a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not gonna get into that, but it's the truth. And, and I'm hurt every day because they have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. 
as you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? BB wanted a meeting with me. Can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey, brother, good morning. I spoke with the prime minister, BB. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text. Y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not going to get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying, but I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back, okay. Let's get back to this and how this is gonna shape your boxing, you know what I'm saying, your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right and he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I I'm gonna fight Devin Haney and I will beat him. And that fight is gonna come on. Hmm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation, we know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. Hmm. My, my own children, I can't imagine that happening. There is no cloud that I get out of this. I was living fine. I was making great money. I had a lot of, I'm still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person, one person, just one who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. Mm -hmm. That's something they do. So eyes have a angels, bodies are covered with eyes. That, that supernatural ability to see everything, that's something God created. Your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense. Mm. That's something God created. But let, but let them know how this is gonna push you forward for the fight, man, like how this is your motive. All right, guys, man, look. This is somebody who was famous, who was rich, who was in that industry and whatnot. And now he's going to, against the industry. Um, a lot of people don't wanna step up and, and, and tell the truth because they know what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you truly love God, you truly believe in God, you know what I'm saying? This is something that you would do, you know? And I'm pretty sure God is very, 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 very happy that he is doing this. You know what I'm saying? And we need a lot of more people like this. And it's gonna, not just going to take one. It's going to take everybody to come against what's going on behind these scenes and whatever the case may be. Human trafficking and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I right, look his, man. You know what I'm saying? So I feel him on everything that he's saying, man. Look. Y'all comment down below what y'all think, man. Y'all comment down below what y'all think. But just remember, man, the riches, fame, all that stuff, man, that don't mean nothing. It comes with a sacrifice. It comes with a lot of secrets and whatnot, man. I'd rather be on God's side, man, than that, than on this side. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want to be rich, if you want to be famous, take the long way. Don't take the fast way. Take the long way. But anyways, man, y'all comment down below what y'all think, man. Um, at the end of my video, it's all say stay inspired, stay motivated, stay grinding. Until next video, I'm out of here. Peace.